Hello guys, this is Amit and in this video I will be showing you how to use Spring Data GPA to fetch data from a MySQL database. So we will be using Spring Boot for this. So we will go to Spring Initializer to start up our project. We will give it a name Fetch Data and Artifact YouTube Example. So now uh, we need a few dependencies starting with JPA, MySQL driver and web. Once we have these three dependencies selected we can go ahead and click generate the project. It will give you a zip file just extract it. Once it has been extracted, open your IDE. For me, it's IntelliJ and click on open. And here, navigate to your extracted folder and just double click on it. Once you open up the project on your IDE, it will configure and now we have our project set up in our id so as you can see in the pom.xml5 we have our required dependencies which is jpa web and mysql driver now first things first we will we will uh, go to application properties and set our db connection uh, parameters so I am using a DB hosted on so I am using a DB hosted on Heroku so this is my URL for my DB this is the username and password once you have done this you go to your package default package and you need to create a new controller I will just name it controller You have to annotate it as rest controller then you make an endpoint such as we will be making a uh, get endpoint we will give the path as get data now this endpoint will return us a list of so basically we have this table PWC users as you can see here in this we will be fetching data from this table so it has columns such as ID first name last name age gender location email and phone number so uh, so to fetch the data from this table first we have to create a model uh, which represents this table so we'll go to our project and then we'll create a new model we'll name it user model we need to give the annotation entity we need to give the table name so in this name equals it will it will be your table name our table name is pwc underscore users So it'll give pwc underscore users. Now here we have to make uh, mention the fields which are given in the table, such as ID, first name, last name, age, gender, location, email, phone number. So ID will be an integer. String first name string last name and then we have string phone number 
then we have integer age we have string email let's see what else do we have we have gender gender and location left so we'll give string gender string location so we have here one two three four five six seven eight eight fields so we have one two three four six seven eight yeah eight fields and then uh, this is our primary key so we will annotate it as id and we will give generated value strategy equals generation type dot auto and we will give it at the rate column annotation name equals id so name equals id means this field will reference to id column of our table so similarly for our first name and last name the name will be equals first name and last name so we will copy paste this everywhere in all our fields once done copy pasting we will put the appropriate names location gender email age phone number last name first name so now our model class is ready so we'll go back to our controller and we'll say that this once we when we get this request slash get data we will return a list of user model so we'll do list user model get users this will take nothing And now we have to create a class which fetches data from our MySQL table. So for that we'll create a new class. We'll say fetch data service. We will annotate it as repository. And this will extend JPA repository and it will take type user model and integer. Sorry, so this will be interface, not class. And now we will override. list user model find all so our fetching service is ready and we can use this in our controller itself so we'll auto wire our fetching service Now we will say return fetch data service dot find all. So this is it, and if we run this program, then it should give us the results which are listed here. So we will go to run, click on run.
so we'll wait until spring boot start up, starts up it says the port is already in use so i will stop my already running project and then again rerun this We will wait until the project starts up. As you can see, it says started YouTube example application on port 8080. So we'll go to Postman. We will go. This will be a get request, and our port is localhost 8080, and our endpoint is get data. As you can see in our controller, it's get data. So now, if we click on send, we should get a result. Okay, so as you can see, we are getting empty values here. That's because we did do not have the getters and setters for the fields of our model class. So we will do, we'll generate the getters and setters. We'll choose all the fields, enter, and then we will rerun the application. Always keep in mind to. Uh, write the getters and setters for your fields in your model class. Otherwise, you will get empty values. Our application has started up. Let's click on send. Now, as you can see, we have got the results from the database. As you can see, it's Amit Vikram. Bangalore and this is the email if you go to the table and we can see the first row Amit Vikram 22 mail Bangalore email and phone number so this was it a short tutorial on how to use spring data jpa to fetch data from mysql table